Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on the African Nightcrawlers. Now, these guys have been voracious eaters, just eating through all the cardboard and all the food that I've put in there. And it's been 11 days since my last update. Let's take a look and see how this is going. But I have a feeling that we're going to have to do a harvest on this very soon, and then maybe put those castings off to the side, let any cocoons, and just sort of try to get them to leave there. But um, these guys are chewing through food. I've never seen anything so fast before. I've never seen food... the, the cardboard disappear so quickly in my bins. Um, I'm very excited about this as you can tell. I'm, I have a stack of cardboard to go through and I'm really hoping that these guys will go through it. Now I did find one more African Nightcrawler in my last video in my pine shavings bin again. I did spread them out a couple, they're probably about two to between two and four inches apart you know and I'm hoping that that will keep them separated but we'll see. There was only one in there this last time and I really did a deep dig through there to try to kind of get some air flowing through there but also just to see if there are any African night crawlers in there as well. So hopefully there's no cocoons in there for African night crawlers. We'll see probably in the future if we uh, start to see some that are a little bit bigger than the other worms in there but hopefully that's not the case. But let's take a look at this one and see how this is doing. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn everything upside down in here really get a good look at them. I've got food to put in here but I have a feeling this might be one of our last feedings in here as this might be getting ready to harvest with how fast they're moving through things. I've, as I've said, I've never had worms move this quick through material before or food. So let's go and take a look. All right, as I said, today is the 27th, so that's 11 days since our last update. We fed in the middle. Let's take off this wrap right here. A little bit of, little bit of material on it, but it's not very moist or anything. So this looks like it's drying out a little bit. That's fine. The edges were left open for that purpose. Let me just push this back here so we can get the light to adjust a little bit better. And now let's dig in here and see how these guys are doing. So overall, I do see, um, it looks like there were, I thought I saw a mite crawling on here, but now I'm not seeing it. So I don't know if they disappeared or not. There's one worm right here. It's not moving very much to get out of the light. Hopefully he's okay. Um, this one looks a little bit smaller. I don't know if this one was injured or something, but it's not moving quite as much. So it happens though, worms do get old, so you don't have to worry about that with worms. They will just dissolve into the system typically. Our last feeding here though was the center. You can see here is the paper that was new. So we added fresh paper at that time as well. And these are those African night crawlers. I mean, look at this. You know, that guy's not stretched out fully, but they are big worms and they are slowly moving through this cardboard in here. They tend to like it, as I could tell. I mean, look at all the castings in here. I mean, most of the cardboard is gone. And it might be time to start really cutting back on the feedings. I think we'll add one more, as I said, with this one. But you can see right here, there's some large worms in here in this section where the cardboard is. But the food is gone, it looks like. So these guys really devoured that food. And all they did was leave the... Oh, no, here we go. We've got a piece of a banana peel. There we go. It's the first time they haven't finished the food that I've added. This is a very large feeding, though, that I think I added in here. Let's just see if we find anything else. Oh, it looks like there's some more left in here, maybe. Oh, no, this is just... this Again, it's just paper. Just paper. But the worms do like this paper. They really like it more so, it looks like, than the banana, even. So they are doing a very good job of maneuvering through this material and this food that I'm adding. You can see, I mean, most of it is just, it's clumps of paper, but there's no food in here. It's just the paper and they're working through it slowly. So these really do, um, they like the food, but they really, really like this cardboard. There we go, you can see here, again, I mean, these worms are just massive too. So I, I know a few other people up this one, there's also banana peel here. It looks like they're still working on. I think that's banana peel. Um, these worms, I heard that some other people were saying that once they got them, they got smaller as they went along. I'm hoping that I can keep them this size. I do like this larger size worm. They're going to be easier to sort out. It's real easy to find a worm that long in a bin compared to finding something that's very tiny. So overall, though, these guys, I mean, look at this. This is almost all castings. I mean, there's... We have some cardboard on the top here that's a little dry in the corners. We have some cardboard down here that's a little dry in the corner. But the majority of this looks like it's just castings, and they're just working through this very quickly. Right, let's dig down in here to see how this is doing. Again, this was probably another area where that we had some food in. 
And look at that. Actually, we might not add food this time. We might just let them go with what's in here and just let them start working through this material because of how fast they're moving through it, we might be able to move them to a new system a lot sooner than expected. Which I might need to uh, empty out a system. We'll have to see how that goes. I don't know whether to move them to just a larger bin or to move them to a new system in general. But like you can see, this they've really worked through. They've got some cardboard here that's left over, but other than that, they've really worked through this material very, very well. I've only had them for four months, and almost all of this is castings. I mean, this is this is just really, I mean, this is just, to me, it's shocking with my reds. Typically, when you get reds, and I, I you know, they take a couple months to six months to a year before they really start to chew through food. Um, I've, I've found that sometimes they just are very, very slow on the uptake. But these guys, I've never, even the Europeans were pretty slow. But they, these guys, they, they went in here and they're like, we're, we're taking this and we're going to eat it all. And we're going to eat it quickly. So let me just make sure that all this stuff is buried underneath. We don't want any of the fruit flies to get in here. But this, I don't think we're going to add any food this time. There's still, still some food left in here. And I don't want to overload them too much. I mean, there only is 300 worms, even if that is a pound. So we're just going to kind of let these worms go and do their business in here. But you can see, I mean, they, they are still look very healthy. Not moving around quite as much on the top here, but some of these worms also might be a little bit stressed out from me shifting around as much. But uh, they're doing very, very well in here. And, uh, you know, here's a smaller one. There we go. There's a small one that looks like it's compared to the size of some of the other ones we've seen. But they are, they're doing very well in here. And I have to say, I'm, I'm very impressed with the amount of material they can chew through. And I, I, do, I do wonder if I'm going to need just a larger system just so I can have more material in the system. Now, as far as moisture content, it looks like it's about right. I mean, I could probably, it's a maybe on the dry side a little bit, but that's why they're probably clumping down in these paper sections where their water is being held a little bit more and it's more food as well. But I don't think it's that bad where I need to, uh, to add moisture at this point. So this is going to be a short video here. But I think we're going to skip adding food this time since they had a couple banana peels left. They still, actually, here's one right on top here. I thought I buried this underneath, but here you go. There's that banana peel. You can see the worms are working on it a little bit, but there's not as many worms on this as, as the paper that was right near it. So let's just bury this down in there, make sure that's buried on the bottom. We dug it up. We kind of aerated it out. They should have a good amount of oxygen in here. We're going to put our piece of plastic back on top. And I think that's, we're going to call that an update for this uh, this week. So a little slower this time, they, but I added quite a bit of food from what I remember last time. And, you know, we're checking a little sooner. We might check at the two-week mark, but we subtracted a couple days there to kind of get a, a, a better, uh, better understanding of what's going on and see if they're really running out of food that fast or not. So that's our update on the ANCs. They're doing good. They're now staying in their system, hopefully, and not moving over to some of the other ones as we've added that gap. And we'll see. We might have to either move them to a bag system or a larger bin, maybe. I'm, I'm thinking larger bin at this point since my bag systems are in use. But we'll see what happens in the future. And we'll see if these worms shrink down at all. I know that other people, as I said, had said that they shrink down as they, they have them longer. I'm hoping that we can maintain the size on them. I'm not sure what we'll have to do to do that. It might require some maybe fattening up with uh, some oats or something like that to kind of keep their, uh, their fat content up. And we'll see. But... Overall, they're still looking good, still looking healthy. We're about, I got them what, back in uh, March? So about four months. I'm sorry, where was it? May. It was May. May I got them. I got them in May, I think. So it's only been a couple months, really. <laughs> um, so overall, they're working pretty well. Just got to keep them going here. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, again, leave a comment down below.